welcome to today's video. I have missed you guys. I really want to start off by apologizing for my lack of videos last week. I acquired strep throat, which I haven't had in years, and I truly forgot how much it sucks. <laughs> so anyways, today is the first day that I'm starting to feel normal again. I'm still not 100%. I really just can't seem to shake the chills, so that's why I still have this hoodie on and I'm just kind of cozy right now. I've got my blanket here around my lap because I just can't get warm. But um, yeah, I kind of interfered with Vlogmas, which I was really disappointed in, but I don't know. It is what it is. I tried filming a couple times and it was like, it didn't work. My voice was all like, <sighs> I was all like, Ugh. Anyways, so today I have my last BoxyCharm for 2017, which is crazy. I am so excited for the holidays. I hope you guys are too. I really hope you guys get to spend lots of time with people you love. Um, I know I'm going to, and that's what it's all about. So I'm going to show you guys what is in the December box, and then as always, I have all the products from the previous month's box here that I'm going to give you a quick review on. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And just in case you are new to BoxyCharm, it is a $21 a month subscription service, $21 US per month. Um, and if you are in Canada, you can also purchase it for $21 US plus a $5 flat shipping rate. I believe it works out to around $32 to $35 per month, depending on the exchange rate. BoxyCharm has been sending me these boxes, which I have been extremely grateful for. However, just want you guys to know there is a link below, and if you use it, I make some money. Um, it is an affiliate link. So I always appreciate when you do, but I just want you to know that it is an affiliate link. So, okay, let's get into this box. I'm, I'm here's a sneak peek. I'm really excited. The card says glitz and glam, perfect for the holidays. And of course, we've got all the information and the price. First thing I have in here, is a blush kit from Real Her, and it says treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. It says this retails for $32. I've not opened this yet. It's all in plastic wrap here. All right, so it comes in this little sleeve. It says be fearless, be limitless. And then inside you get, it's well protected anyway, you get three Blushes, these look like baked blushes. Um, at least two of them, yeah, these two look like they contain some glitter. This one looks a little more matte. So you have the shades Fearless, Limitless, and Unstoppable. And I'm just gonna give these a quick little swatch. And let's see. Mm. They're okay. They're nothing like outrageously fantastic just based on the first swatch. But you guys know I will definitely put them to the test and I will give you guys a review on how they worked out for me in next month's OxyCharm box. Okay, next we have a crown brush, which I'm very excited for. I love receiving brushes in my BoxyCharm. I really have discovered so many amazing brushes through BoxyCharm. Um, Luxie brushes, which are featured often, have become some of my favorites. So I'm excited to have another crown brush. This retails for $12 and it says it is a deluxe blush brush and yeah, you could definitely use this for blush. I also think it would be a nice contour brush. So I'll definitely get used out of this. And I just realized when I held it up, it's got little grippies here for you to put your finger in and they actually line up really nicely. So that's kind of cool. So I will definitely put this to great use and let you guys know how it performs. Okay, next, I think this is the item I am most excited for. This is a lip gloss from Pretty Vulgar. The packaging, you guys, is beautiful. And I have been eyeing these lip glosses on the Sephora website, so I was super excited that one showed up in this month's box. Um, it says, my lips are sealed, lightweight liquid lipstick. Oh, I said it was a gloss, it's a liquid lipstick. And it retails for $24, and I have the shade, my lips are sealed looks like kind of a rose gold shade. Um, let's just give it a little swatch here. Ooh, that's very, very pretty. Look at how high shine that is. And I don't believe it is a matte liquid lipstick, so I'm really excited. Oh, I'm really excited about this. I love the packaging, I love the shade. We'll definitely give this a test drive and let you guys know how it performs. I'm really excited that was in here. The other item I was super excited to see is a full-size Tarte mascara. All the products in BoxyCharm are full-size, so, um, but this is an awesome product to receive. So this is the Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara. It retails for $23. It is vegan, which is great, and as far as I know, all of the products this month are cruelty-free. I will have to have to double check on a couple, but I will put notes below for you guys. Um, 
So I'm not gonna open this quite yet because I, I don't wanna use it yet, but I have heard some pretty great things about this mascara, so I'm really excited to have it and give it a try. I have been getting lash extensions, which I've been loving. Still put mascara on my bottom lashes, and when I'm due for a lash refill, like a few days before, like I am now, I will put a little bit of mascara on the top um, just to kind of fill in any gaps, but really excited. Okay, and then finally, we have this by Beauty Basics, and I believe this is a bronzing powder. It says bronze essentials and it retails for $39.95. says use individually or mix together for your ultimate bronze, ooh, glow. This is very pretty. This reminds me of the By Terry bronzer, which I don't own but I've seen and just looks very pretty. Um, so it's got some plastic here. So there's a little mirror in there and then you've got, this is actually quite pretty. The gold shade looks like it's a little bit yeah, it is for sure. A little bit shimmery. Seems a little bit powdery there. But these other, ooh, I think we could make this work. The other shades, the matte shades, seem very, very like blendable and smooth, not powdery at all. So I will definitely be using this. I like this. So what's nice about this is like you could choose to use the shimmer or not. Um, you could swirl it all together, but the each individual shade is big enough that you could get a brush in there um, and just kind of you know use the one that you wanted to. So I'm really excited to try that, and this brush is going to be perfect. So yay! That was so yes, another great box from BoxyCharm. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do in 2018 because I just feel like things keep getting bigger and better with BoxyCharm. So um, I am very happy with this box. I'll put the total value below for you guys. Or the products that I'm most excited to try before actually trying them are definitely the lip gloss, um, the mascara, the brush and the bronzer, so almost all of them. The blushes look okay. They didn't wow me at a first impression, but I will still give them a shot. So really excited to play with all of these. And let me give you a quick review of the products from the November. Okay, so there were some really great products. I think my favorite from November had to be the Winky Lux and BoxyCharm collaboration palette. This I've been using quite a bit, um, and you just have a nice mixture of some mattes and shimmer shades. And I've said this before, but I just feel like this is a nice fall to winter transition palette. Everything was very pigmented, blended very nicely, um, both the shimmers and the mattes. This one reminds me a lot of the MAC, is it the blue-brown pigment? I used to love that years ago. Um, anyway, there are some really beautiful, this gold copper color, really beautiful colors in here. I've been reaching for this a lot. I love this brown as a transition color. You've got a little highlight shade. It's a really great palette and I was super excited that BoxyCharm included it. I've gotten a lot of great use of it. Another standout product for me from the November box was definitely this setting spray from Cover FX. Now, I will warn you, this is an illuminating spray and if you don't give it a good shake, you will get glittery specks on your face. That did happen to me at one point. What I love about this the most is the mister. It's like hopefully you can see. It's just the perfect mister. So you're not getting like big blotchy water droplets all over your face. It's not like running down your skin. It doesn't interfere with your makeup. It just helps to, you know, set everything into place and give you a slightly dewy sort of finish. So this I have really enjoyed and I would just suggest giving it a really good shake. There's even a little ball you can hear in there to really get that glitter separated so you're not spraying glitter on your face. But if you give it a really good shake and just, you know, mist it from a distance, it does a really nice job of giving you just a little bit of luminosity and setting everything in place. So really liked that. Okay, so the only product from the November box that I wasn't totally feeling, I guess, were these lip masks. These are by KNC Beauty. They're all natural collagen infused lip masks. There were three included, I used one. It says it conditions, moisturizes, plumps, and hydrates. And I don't know, I just didn't feel like I got any results from these. And honestly, when they were on my lips, they felt a little bit irritating. So I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't like a relaxing feeling. And when I took it off, I just, I didn't feel like my lips were more conditioned or plump. They just kind of felt meh, the same. So um, I'll probably pass these two along to someone else to see if they want to try them. But for me, they just, they weren't my favorite. And then finally there was this lip crayon and I actually really enjoyed this. It's called Cloud Lip um, and it is so soft. It feels, I've said this I think on Snapchat, but it feels like you're just gliding foam across your hand. 
It is really, really a cool formula and I've worn it and I do really like the way it feels. However, this color on me pulls a little more fuchsia. So I had it on earlier and I was like, uh, I don't know that I'm totally feeling the color, but I am definitely gonna check out more from this company because um, I think they're really onto something with this formulation. It just glides on, it looks kind of just like satin on your lips. It feels very light and airy and I really, really enjoy the formula. So I wanna check out more colors. This color is called Sun Shower. It is pretty, just for some reason on my lips, it pulls more pink. Anyway guys, that is it for my December BoxyCharm November reviews and all of BoxyCharm for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up so I know to keep doing these videos. I, like I said, have never found a subscription service as amazing as BoxyCharm. I just don't know where you're gonna get that much bang for your box. So I highly recommend checking it out. Um, like I said, I'll have all the information linked below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to be here with me today. I truly appreciate it. Take care of each other, guys, and I'll see you soon.